a particle is released from height s from the surface of the earth at a certain height its kinetic energy is three times its potential energy the height from the surface of the earth and the speed of the particle at that instant are respectively consider this is the surface of earth right a particle is released released from the height s yes. consider this height as a s right we as we are releasing the particle so initial velocity of a particle is zero uh, at a certain height its kinetic energy is three times its potential energy okay let's say at this point which is at a distance h which is at a distance h from the earth surface its uh, its kinetic energy is three times of its potential energy kinetic energy is three times of potential energy right it is given let's say this point is a this point is b now we know that as the particle is moving in downward direction with because of the gravity so we can write total energy is conserved that is total energy at point a is equal to total energy at point b that is kinetic energy plus potential energy at point a is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy at point b now see kinetic energy at point a as object is released it will be zero potential energy with respect to earth can be written as mg h h means yes here is equal to kinetic energy at this point point b we have a relation for kinetic energy that is it is three times of potential energy plus potential energy so mgs is equal to four times of potential energy at point b now what is the potential energy at point b that can be written as mgh so mgs is equal to four time of mgh mg mg get cancel out so h can be written as s by four to height from the ground at which kinetic energy three times of potential energy is s by 4 now next one is the speed of the particle at that instant now we know that at uh, that instant when h is equal to s by 4 kinetic energy is three times of potential energy to so kinetic energy is half mv square three times of potential energy is mg h mm gets cancel out to v square is equal to 6 g h h is equal to s by 4 to 2 into 2 4 2 into 3 6 v is equal to under root of 3 g s by 2 so v is equal to under root of 3 g s by 2 s by 4 under root 3 g s by 2 option d is a correct one right